Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. My name is Saik and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. Time for us to follow the isolation. I cleaned out the spectre nest which really wasn't anything special. So now it's time to reach the outpost and get entrance. And we're only getting entrance if we're making ourselves valuable and that's not going to happen unless we're finding that scouting party that they were talking about so let's take a good look it's happening around here and get up that hill So for starters, uh, this looks quite empty. Hmm. Wonder if we can call the lift. If that even works. Does it? Stuck. Looks like you're walking. Looks like. Who would have guessed, right? But at least we can take the lift on the way down at least I guess that is what it means there definitely is a way down here but we don't want to sidetrack with the tendency to explore the landscape I wonder how many there are in the fort fewer by the day I'll wager still Better to be inside than out. Good, what do we have over here? Definitely a couple of points of interest. Have another insight. That's some free equipment there. Good. <clears throat> Let's get that specter down first. The mountain is awash with specters. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Fervent devotion, way too low, and we. But I still want to know damage taken by Antia reduced by thirty percent, but Red's damage is increased. Something's here, hidden. I would rather take it the other way around. Red is the guy who needs to survive, and Thea is disposable. I'm sorry if that sounds harsh, but she can always get her ethereal power back if he hits something, but if he dies, it's kind of game over. Hence my obsession with uh, giving him more health. Did you feel that? It's close. Good, travel party came through here. It hasn't really managed to get anywhere. Maybe not to make you angry. Is it even the right way? Yeah, 
no idea how we are going to get down there, but that's also not important now. Let's see what else. We need to get um, up that slope. But the game is always teasing us with little side gigs here and there. Sit down. And since we specifically need fur, that's a welcome, uh, that's a welcome source. Did you feel that? It's close. Good, off we go. Need to climb that entire mountain. Help us, please. We have a survivor. Come. That was a ghost. Wonderful. Okay. I like the snowy landscape, very calm, tranquil. This one's not been dead long. Mm, let's hope he stays that way. Looks like they were taken by surprise. I think this area is similar to the map's instructions. Okay, apparently there's even a think treasure you could take here. on a ghost. This isn't over yet. you but let me explore first. now this place looks like the drawings on the map okay I'm there sure must, the treasure is nearby there must be a treasure here Ethereal garb. Defending an enemy with a manifestation increases damage of next light or heavy attack. That's not bad. But it is too little too late. If the map is correct, the treasure must be hidden nearby. Very good, that's the treasure. Sentry, Cliff's Cage, and two Void Splinters. The Void Splinters are pretty good. Okay, we need to help and then there is something up there. Let's help first and then we're exploring what kind of secret lurks up that mountain ridge. I love doing that. Oh, 
Of course, she's behind the parkour of puzzles. Find the survivor. And that we shall do. My bolt is shot! Behind you! Well, isn't that an ugly but equally convenient circumstance that we find you here? Watch out, Spectre possession. They'd get back up. I don't think he likes us much. A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly, I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly, you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you, we'll resupply the camp. Matthews and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. A second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. 
We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. All right, there's a nice case of another haunting. I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Banisher marched with my father's infantry. Good for morale, he said. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you met. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. All right, off we go. Escorting you back. Sympathies. The secret up here will stay a secret for now. And uh, we'll go down. All right, let's go. All of this for two miserable powder boxes. How low has Pennington brought us? If you didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. Hmm. That does not sound good. Conflict. You may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's nest. Well, that's a relief. Follow me. All right, then march a little bit faster, please. Light jogging is what they call that. But Reed Mc, uh, McGreeth is uh, typically running. White! Open the gates! Priest! What are you lot waiting for? Open the gates! Fabulous. Finally. What are you waiting for? Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand, if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. You'll find him there. Very good. So, we discovered Fort Jericho. Which... There is a point of interest and a merchant. Are you the merchant? Where are the others? Williams and the other chap? Matthews. We were ambushed. They fell. May God have mercy on their souls. There's ammo in the elevator. Send Shepard and Abbott to bring it back. Greetings. Welcome to Ink. Cool. Oh. Good. I'm interested. I rather think we should. Oh, fantastic. Just what we needed. Copper. Plenty. Damage by red and it has increased the lower the spirit gorge. That is not bad either. I like it. But we're not going to do anything. Good quality nails. 
I know who could use those. Sure, why not? And you don't have any fur. Well, good enough. I make. We even have a place to sleep here. That is fantastic. Well, not yet. We soon will have a place to sleep. This here where the question mark is. P uh, places of interest are typically indeed that very interesting. Storeroom. Locked. Is that it? Place of interest? No. Maybe the upper level there, but more likely in here. All right, whatever hides in there, we'll find out. But let's first talk to the only surviving NPC so far out of New Eden, because we have killed literally every single one of uh, the others. Captain Bennington. No time. Captain Pennington, sir. Mr. McRaith, you live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work, a mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope, to gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more open, little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You've saved no one. You've prolonged the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. The people man the ramparts, ready to fight. You sound like priests. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. 
the dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Folk have little enough hope, and you're leading them further into the darkness. I've heard the whispers, the murmurs, the plotting from the shadows. We hold to the last. We resist, till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you, and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. Well, this guy is a sick. Permission to take my leave. Are you... <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll bill it while you're here. The guy certainly has made peace with everything here. On the one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. Helen worries me. Sebastian's return has lit a fuse. Good. Time for us to upgrade as far as we can, and then we need to take a nice little rest. Alright, outfit upgrade, finally. And all we now need is three nest silt, which can be obtained by defeating nests. Alright. Three scorch. Six scorch. But yeah, our outfit begins to look mwah. well equipped banishes may i have a word helen something wrong apologies for disturbing your rest i'm afraid it can't wait what did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps, by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier. Broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy, but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Pennington the Jailer. 
Do you speak of Deborah? What did he do? I was away from New Eden Town at the time. Rumours said she was a witch, I later heard. And so too did the captain. The court agreed. Who knows what urges drove the captain then? He is a secretive man, and always has been. All right, so all three of them. Come. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. So, all three of the main characters have aided in the downfall of Deborah, and I think she is the nightmare. And we need to get up uh, there. But that will need to wait until our next episode. An For innocent today, woman jailed. We're done. It's barbaric. An officer must be just, or else it all unravels. I mean, Helen is right. Wolf belts go, it's the pretty. truth lies down but there. More than enough somewhere. of them. Folk in I Boston suspect not Deborah is at it again. What do I do with this? You All right. Sell it. Um, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed uh, Ben and Shur's, uh, The Ghost of New Eden, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye.